Hello guys, welcome to another video um, from e from um, Whatcast here. Um, sorry I've not posted in a while. I was just hanging out with friends and family, working on other stuff, and, you know, try to do some school stuff too. And, you know, get my life together after COVID. So, welcome back to another video once again. So in this video, we're going to, this is a Magic the Gathering video. It's similar to Pokemon, but it's Magic the Gathering. More complicated an interesting version of Pokemon, and it's a tabletop card game, a TCG. And this is a infinite, this is a really interesting combination of cards that you can use with, and this is budget, got it? This is budget, budget, budget. Um, so this will not cost you as much as you need, probably under, this is under $10, possibly $2. So let's get started. <clears throat> so... The first, so I'm um, here's we're gonna split this video into a few different parts. The first part, so basically, the first part is basically going to be the what, as in, what is this? The next part is going to be how, as in, how are you going to use this? The third part is going to be. And final part is going to be why. As in, why would you use this? Right? So yeah, those are basically the three parts that we are going to be working with today. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm very happy to work with you guys. And I will show you how to do this. Now the first is what. So what is the exact combo and the pricing and all that good stuff? So cardkingdom.com, really popular place to get card games. And by the way, you can look these cards up on TCG Player to show you all of these good combos and stuff. And I actually have these cards before we start. I just want to let you know, I do have these cards. I have used them before. So don't worry, you can trust me and I know what the experience is like. I'm not saying that's just because it's cool. I, even though it kind of it pretty much is. But don't worry. I know have experience in using these cards. And I know all the consequences and outcomes and everything like that. So, basically, th there's only two cards that really go into this. Um, but you will need to get up some mana, because as you can see, you can see the first card on my screen, Mirror Battle Sphere. As you can see, it has a TCG price of $0.33, cents and the card kingdom price of $0.35, cents. right? So yeah, you have those two, and um, yeah, just wanted to let you know that. So, yeah, this card is really cool. So basically, here's what it does. And I'm going to underline some interesting parts that you may want to pay attention to, okay? So, when Mirror Battle Sphere enters the battlefield, so you cr you create four 1-1 one -one colorless Mirror Artifact tokens. That is pretty much the important part. So, enters the battlefield, create four colorless Mirror Artifact tokens. Okay, so let me erase this stuff so you can see it. It's basically pretty much the, this top part. The bottom part does not really apply, but it is really cool, especially if you're using, if you're gonna use this to attack. So yeah, pretty much just that top section there. As you can see, there's a little space there, so you can really see that easily. Okay, now this is important because the next, and you'll see why in the next card I'm gonna show you. The next card I'm gonna show you is called Mystic. Re Mystic Reflection. This is a really cool card from Caldeheim, and it's probably one of one of my favorites. And this can be used in so many cool ways and create so many combos. And this is really cheap. So by the way, together this is pretty much like a, under or around two dollars to buy both of these cards. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'll explain how you can how you can use this and how this will work. Well, basically, before we get into that though, so first one has a foretell cost of one, and why this the foretell cost may play an important role later. Um, may play an important role during the why. Okay, so that was a little star there. <laughs> I'm not gonna draw it like that. <clears throat> yeah, pay attention to that foretell cost. So, 
So yeah, anyway, so now let's actually talk about the card. Here's what the card does. Choose a target non-legendary creature. So pretty much choose any creature as long as it's not legendary, okay? Obviously, or it doesn't say legendary creature, it just says creature. <clears throat> okay, then it says the next time one or more creatures, one or more creatures or planeswalkers enters the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies of that chosen creature. And the interesting thing is, it didn't just say one or more creatures, it said and planeswalkers. Which is a little interesting. So if you have a Super Friends deck with like bunches of Planeswalkers, this could also be a really good addition to this deck. <laughs> Alright? So yeah, that could be really cool. <clears throat> and honestly, if I were them, I would have made this card like really expensive. This is a really good card, honestly. I mean, yeah, so. So. Yeah. So let's get into this, this card actually. <clears throat> Do. What this can actually do and its main uses together. So now we're gonna talk about so okay, now we're finally gonna get into the what. So now we're gonna end the what part, as in what will these two cards do together? So for example, so let's I'm gonna do some drawing here. So the red. So first of all, so if this is our so I'm just gonna draw an imaginary little battlefield, right? So we have this cool little battlefield, right? Like that. You can see on my screen this little black square I drew. Then I play mirror battle sphere. And I create four mirrors. One, two, three, four. Right? Like that. Pretty simple. But the thing is though, they all enter. <clears throat> Here's the thing though. Mystical function enters, but only for uh as an instant. And then all, all these will become this. Right? So that's just what will happen. So Mystical Reflection will cause all these to become your battle spheres. Now, what happens? So, as more battle spheres create, you're going to create more mirrors. And those will become more battle spheres. Then you'll create more mirrors out of those battle spheres. And those will create more battle spheres, and etc. and etc. etc. and etc. 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 This will just keep happening over <clears throat> and over and over and over and over again. Which is why it's such an interesting combo. Now, <clears throat> here is the outcome. So here is the outcome. Ready? It's gonna be a draw. Now, why? Because you are just creating so many tokens. Think of it as like it's breaking, quote-unquote, breaking the game. Which is interesting. Because <clears throat> infinite combos are... You may think this is an infinite combo, which means, okay, so you're thinking... Now you're thinking, okay, so all infinite combos will just make a draw. That is so not true. This is like an infinite, infinite combo, in my mind at least, right? Because, like, think about it. This will just keep going on and on. No stop. And, but here's the thing. So, infinite combos are similar to that. But infinite combos are a little more limited. As in, for example. Unlimited combos will be like, you get four mana every turn. Or the mana just keeps adding up. Or like, you know, something like that. That's just in a quick, ex simple, super simple example of how infinite combos would work. Point is, they're a little more limited. This is different. This is not limited at all. So once this happens, it'll just be going on forever, 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 and forever uh, until it's like for the whole game. It would just never end. That is the point of this. <laughs> so that is basically what's going to happen. And the reason I think this is a cool, interesting effect is that, or that's because you're not just, um, well, think about it. When you use Mystic Reflection, this is a real, okay, this is really good, especially if you're losing and you have nothing to do. You got your last stand, you may lose. Instead, make it a draw, make things a little more interesting, you know? This could create an amazing players, but it also won't. It's not as annoying as other cards, so don't be 
Don't feel too upset, all right? Okay. So, yeah, that's how this is works. This is going to work. Now, now we are done with the what. Now, we are getting, going to get into the how. I kind of already explained that a little bit, but I'm going to explain it further. So, first of all, how do you do this? Well, you can think about it like this. So, okay. So we can think about it like this, basically. So, look. So I'm just going to open a new sheet, or like a little, just a new pad, and we can start going. So here is our battlefield. This is our mat. So it's divided into four players, four players, right? And we're going to send, say, this is us, right? We're going to say, this is us. So this, this mat right here, I'm Daiju Dots on. Oops. Um, yeah, so that's this. That is basically our mat. This is our play mat that we'll be playing on. <clears throat> so here's what's going to happen. First, we have Mirror Battlesphere Enter, right? So make sure, now I want to let you know, if you can, during your turn, try to make um, Mirror Battlesphere indestructible in some sort of way. And I can def and here are a few cards I can um and yeah so I don't know if I can really recommend cards only because they're a limited amount and may cost may have extra cost that I will let you find that out Tyrant Sanctum may be an option but possibly not it is a land and uh, yeah so point is you may want to make it indestructible because you may have to wait a turn or two until you can maybe even use Mystic Reflection because this is a lot of mana this is ten mana. So you may have to write one or two, wait one or two turn rotations before you can even think about using this infinite combo. Now, here is my recommendation. So you cast it, and then you pay its foretell cost, right? So you foretell it face down, which is why I'm just coloring it in. So this is a foretell, right? Okay, so it's next turn. Now what you're going to do is you're going to recast Mystic Reflection. And also, oh, I forgot, you have your four near tokens. I'm just going to draw a little dot here, right? Then, this is where the magic will happen. You'll take all of these tokens and keep going. You may want to have some counter spells on hand, which is, maybe, which is why you want to foretell it. It'll free up one mana, basically, right? And it will hide that card and make it a little more mysterious, right? <clears throat> and maybe, yeah, so make sure maybe you have some counter spells on your hand in hand that'll be pretty important um possibly right so yeah counter spells will be pretty useful in this situation because they can either ca they can counter so many things here they can counter mystical reflection coming out in the battlefield they can counter the mirrors coming out they can counter um your battle sphere coming out they can counter like they can counter quite a few different things um in the operations of this combo so yeah make sure you have some counter spells on hand and if you don't well don't worry you can risk it when i used it i didn't really have these counter spells because they didn't really think it would do anything that devastating but turn out did they made a mistake and yeah i think i learned a lesson so next time i play them they're probably gonna remember to bring some counter spells with them so yeah make sure you please have some counter spells on hand or else Yo, you will get crushed. So yeah, make sure you have some counter spells. And yeah, same thing. This will just be going over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So please make sure that you have it. But yeah, this is basically how you can use this combo to your advantage. Now, so okay, now that we understand how to use this combo, we are simply just going to jump into the last part part of this video which is how air sorry not how why <laughs> so why would we use this combo i hinted it out a little bit earlier which is um if you're at your last stand you're at like one life and you have nothing to do this is probably the only thing you can do we have a bunch of men much of mana just laying out right so yeah in that case, I would definitely, that's one case we would definitely recommend using it. 
But to be more specific, and here's other cases you want would want to do it. Number one, you want to get out. You want to. You're about to die. Someone's about to die. I mean, you're about to die, and you already have mere battles here out in the battlefield. Search or put search for mystical reflection, and then put down put it down, or just if you already have mystical reflection, put it down. That's just a final goodbye. Pretty similar to the other one. I pretty similar to the other reason that it would make me want to use this. The first, pretty similar to the first one. But this is just like go out the big blow and no one wins. So, you know, it makes me a little better. I mean, the only reason I would discourage this, especially if you're playing with really intense players, um, and what happens is it's like, you know, you may get mad a lot or something. Depends on your play group. So, yeah. Just be wary of that and be cautious of other people's feelings and, you know, stuff like that. Because, um... It's a game, but people get a little emotional about it. So, yeah. And, um, yeah. So, though, that is basically all I have for you. And the total to get this is around $2. So, perfect price. And it is nothing. This is a like, very budget combo. Costs nothing to build. This can be implemented in any deck as long as it has blue. Because remember, Mirror Battle Sphere is colorless. So, you're good. So guys, I'll see you later. Um, bye. And one more thing. Thank you so much, guys, for waiting. I'm just glad to be back. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.